and welcome to my YouTube channel. This will be our segment for as we unveil or unwind going towards the crash, so you're not going to be surprised. Let's start. Okay. Again, let's take a look at the stock market from 2008. Let's go from, two, I'm sorry, 2004 to 2008. See how this broke out right here? See that breakout right there? And you see what's going on? The same kind of breakout right here. Same exact pattern. Same exact pattern. You've got to be very, very careful when you see that. That's a big red flag. Why? Because before they... They have to get the big institutions, the biggest banks like Morgan Stanley and J.P. Morgan. They got to get their pension fund people out. So they rally the market right before it crashes so they can get their best accounts out of the market and protect them. Like the pension funds, like the teachers, unions, and police. We're seeing the same thing right here, right now. Same thing. We're also seeing something else. Right here. What we're seeing is savings. Too much savings. When the market crashed in February 2020 to March 2020, people got scared and their savings went up to 33%. It should be back to about 7%. It's not. It's right around 14%. Very bad. That means this money's not coming back into the economy. And that lines up with the problem we got with our economic GDP growth right here. Things are getting worse. Now, we've been averaging be below, our annual GDP has been below 3%. Okay, remember the first quarter, we went down to minus 5%. We had the crash from February to March. Our GDP dropped 31%. And then, remember we got the big move back up to 33%. And all we heard from Fake Business News Network every day, wow, look at this, we're on our way back, we're on our way back. This is great. No, it isn't. It's just the opposite. That's the last thing you want to see. And I said to everybody, you watch. The, to watch for the fourth quarter, you're going to see it's going to be very disappointing. And look at this, just 4%. That means we're going to end up going back to 1.9%, 2% the next quarter. Things are getting worse, not better. Also, what are we finding? Housing. What do they do to it? They, they're lying to us about housing. We're seeing housing getting worse, not better. They're telling us it's getting better in a boom. No, we're not. Let me prove it to you. If you go back to the housing market from 1996 to 2008, okay, again, these are the $700 billion is what they printed and they went in and purchased from the banks mortgages, all their mortgages, $700 billion. That's it. And the wages were pretty good. And we had that big rally, remember, before the market and the economy collapsed, right? Let's compare what's going on now. Wow, what a difference. Look at wages are lower, but look what they're doing. Look at the amount of money supply they increased so they could push the price of uh, houses up to get houses moving, okay? And, and, and look what they did. They went from three, from three billion, three billion a year. And, and when we hit that three billion a year, when we, we hit the crash from uh, February to March of 2020, look what they did. They cranked up the printing machine to seven billion, seven billion. Why? Why'd they want all that money? Because they knew we were in trouble. They had it. Remember, housing always masks the problem. If they can get convinced people that housing's doing well, then they can lie and say the economy's doing better. And that's what we hear every day. The economy's doing better, and they point to the housing market. Well, guess what? Look at this move in money supply. This is why you see the houses go up, because we got, we got the same amount of homes available but we got much more money chasing the same amount of homes. And look here, they're buying $7 trillion worth of mortgage-backed securities. And they're, look at what they're doing, $7 trillion. Back here, it was 700 Look at that. And our wages are, remember, we lost $250 billion in wages. Look at this. Our wages are less than back here. But look at the housing here right before it crashed. Look at this. This is all because they rigged it with this whole slug of money supply. But also look back here. Our economy, remember, collapsed in 2013, unlike back here. Okay? And they've been propping this whole stock market up. So this whole housing market has been created by printing all this extra money, this money supply. So we have more money chasing the same amount of houses. So... Next Friday, we'll continue. I'll keep picking up from you for week to week. I'll keep picking up and show you why I think every week why we're getting closer and closer and closer to our crash, okay? So please 
take your time and hit like. I hope you'll do me a favor and hit like and um, hit share and subscribe. And next week, we're going to show you what on my chart, my trading chart, what gives me the signal? What, is, what gives me the actual signal that the market is ready to crash? I'll, I'll share that with you next week. Don't miss it. Okay, so things are getting worse, not better. I hope this helps you because this is the truth. I'll see you on the charts.